Underfloor heating. Yes, we have underfloor heating in Madeira. And it is made by a company in England called Warmup. Warmup are a British manufacturing company making underfloor heating solutions for around the world. This is the world's best-selling floor heating brand. Ours is an electric underfloor heating system and it followed us here all the way from England. It was at the beginning of September that the builders started to get ready to lay the floor. We spent some time with Katerina and Sidonio to discuss how we wanted the floor tiles to look. If you have watched our previous videos, you will know we have chosen to have floor tiles throughout the house, upstairs and downstairs. Katerina took us to a bathroom shop in Funchal where we chose these floor tiles from Rivigris. They are their lava stone tiles with a natural stone effect in the colour fog. We chose the size 90 by 90. The first layer of our underfloor heating to go down is the warm-up insulation boards. What do you think, Andrew? So exciting. You felt me? I am. <laughs> With no underfloor heating in the shower, the floor tiles can go straight down. In the shower, we have an anti-slip finish on the tiles and everywhere else we have what they call a soft finish. They had to redo the tiles on the shower floor as they weren't lined up properly. Our builders did have to redo quite a few things, but they always did them quickly and without any fuss. If you are doing a renovation too, don't be afraid to say if something isn't right. Our builder was always very responsive and happy to redo things if we asked. Of course, we always went through our architect as our builder does not speak English. And we are still very early on in our Portuguese language learning. If you don't have an architect, they are not sure how you would get on with communicating this unless you speak Portuguese. Using Google or Bing as a translation tool has a few issues. Next, the builders lay the heating wires. They're going to tile that then. They can't, they can't do anything. They can't walk on it. They've got to tile it. It's Morris' job. See, I don't get it. I think I did then the bedrooms first. And this last. <laughs> That's why I'm not a builder. <laughs> Here's a little tip for you. 
If you renovate a property and you are told something isn't available but you really want it, then make a few inquiries yourself to double check. We were in Canada when we had a message from our architect, Katerina, telling us the 90 by 90 floor tiles we wanted weren't available and they would have to use the 60 by 60. We were disappointed. We had chosen the 90 by 90 size to give a more minimal look. With the large floor area to be covered, we wanted it to have as few joins as possible. Now, it wasn't an easy task, but I decided to ring the bathroom shop in Funchal who were supplying the tiles. I'd cancelled my Vodafone contract when I left England and all I had was a SIM-only contract with Voxy and it wasn't easy adding the right bits to my plan to make the call from Canada using a UK SIM to ring Portugal. If you are in England, you may have heard of Voxy and you will know you can only contact them by online chat. It took a good hour, a couple of online chats and a £20 add-on, but I was then ready to make the call. And I'm so glad I did as I spoke to Pedro, who told me that the 90 by 90 tiles were in stock in Lisbon and could be with them in Madeira within two weeks. We told him to order the tiles and told Katerina. We never did find out why we were told differently, but these things are difficult when we don't speak Portuguese. You may be wondering why we had underfloor heating when we live on a subtropical island. In the winter, the temperature drops to no lower than about 12 degrees unless you go up into the mountains. And in the north, the temperatures can be two or three degrees lower than in the south, but not always. The first architect we spoke to told us he wouldn't normally recommend underfloor heating, but being in the north and with part of our house being underground, he would recommend it to us. Also, we had stayed in an Airbnb in Ponta del Garda in March and had found it to be very cold. It had no heating and was built close to the cliff behind, which made it feel colder inside than it was outside. And at this rate, they'll be over to here by the time they go home. So it's a two day job to do the lattice to do the kitchen. See how they can't paint first, they have to paint last. How are you feeling, Andrew? Can we put those places for an office? I can't think of one right there. What, a worse place? No. Better place. Better place? No, there's no better place. Did you get it? Do you want me to explain? Yes, please. Right, so they're going to put that distance with this line in the middle here, 
right? Yes. Won't line up with the line coming down from the kitchen. Okay. They are working room by room, but towards the end of October, downstairs is finished. Yay! And they are ready to start on the floor upstairs. We are not having underfloor heating upstairs. Instead here, we chose to have a salamandra, or you may know it as a wood burner. I am editing this video in March 2023, and I am able to tell you we do not need to use the underfloor heating now. Here on the 26th of February, it was like a switch was flipped and summer arrived in Ponta Delgada. Well, it is like an English summer, as we are told by the locals that summer in Madeira is really July, August and September. However, it is something we did need in the winter months of December, January and February. We moved into the house in December. The house wasn't finished and the builders finished for Christmas and left us with outstanding jobs to be completed after their Christmas break. One of these jobs was to get the underfloor heating to work. Also, the wood burner had not been fitted correctly, so we could not use that either. We had no form of heating. I can tell you, it was a couple of cold, depressing months, and we had to buy an electric heater to keep warm. When the builders returned in February and the underfloor heating was commissioned, it was amazing. We will talk in another video about the cost of running the underfloor heating. Hello. <laughs> Join us next time when the windows and doors are fitted. We also share bonus footage of a stormy night in December, which literally blew the doors off on our balcony. One not to be missed.